Good day everyone, this is Matt and welcome to my couch. Now today I will be showing you how to optimize Cyberpunk 2077 for those mid-range hardware. Now I'm using a 5700 XT with a 5600 X CPU and a 3600 uh, CL16 RAM. Not that uh, powerful, not that high-end, it's quite a mid-range, but I was able to get 60 FPS without sacrificing visual quality. I mean, not that far away from ultra or high. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I've loaded the game from a specific as a save point, which is one of the most intensive parts of the game due to the complexity of the scene. So this is this area. Now, uh, my settings here is uh, all high. Now the reason that I said it's to all high because this is the most instinctive option that a PC gamer or PC gamer like me would toggle from the get-go. Uh, I know all of you, whenever you play your game, you, s you go to settings before you even start the game and then turn it to high. Now this is what I'm getting. I'm getting 40, 41 FPS. And you can see there are lots of NPCs, all those crazy lights are turning on and off. And look at this guy, he's looking at me. And you can see here that we're, we're way uh, off from 60. So what I'm going to do here is go back to settings. And I'm going to show you the, the settings that matter the most in terms of performance. And some sort of um, visuals as well. First thing is... Uh, these two local shadow quality settings refer to shadows cast by artificial light sources like lights or any sort of uh, lighting that is not the sun. The sun uh, is right here, cascaded shadows. Now these are shadows that are being cast by the sun. Now each of them have their own quality. For local shadow it's called quality. For cascaded shadows, it's called resolution. These all, uh, both of these, affect the resolution of the shadow. So I'm going to turn this to medium. The the local shadow mesh quality and range don't affect FPS. So feel free to do them on high. Distant shadows resolution as well. For some reason, doesn't affect FPS despite it um, affecting. The, the kind of shadows that are rendered far away like for example your own shadow when the sun is directly behind you now the next thing that we're going to turn down to medium is volumetric fog resolution we're going to see why it matters when we take a look around later but basically what this does is it uh, sets uh, the resolution of the volumetric lights and it uh, reduces the shimmer or the dithering effect that you can see when volumetric lights collide with objects volumetric cloud quality just leave this to high if you're that desperate for FPS you can turn this to off and uh, you're not going to see much of a difference despite the clouds being turned off well because you're playing the game you're looking forward you're not actually looking up when you're shooting at people or you're looking at scenery right so just I can leave this to high but you can leave this to off for me, it left too high. Decals, as always, they had, uh, they, they weren't, they haven't been that intensive ever since from the start of, uh, of uh, graphics uh, engines. So just leave this too high. Um, SSR. Now this is very interesting because the psycho setting is very murderous to your frame rate, and it's not that much different. From Ultra, I've, I've seen it myself. I have these screenshots right here, and it's it's very similar, but then the f performance is just just psycho, just psycho level. So I recommend here medium, and uh, I'm at occlusion. Just say it's medium. Don't let the the medium um, text bother you because I know what you're thinking, um, and because that's me too whenever I see high and medium gets mixed with each other in the graphic setting, I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm not getting the, the, the best fidelity, but for Cyberpunk 2077, believe me, 
medium and high or ultra and medium are not noticeable they're they may be noticeable when you're taking screenshots and then zooming in pixel a pixel levels of, of zoom but when you're playing the game you, you would know I, I i've recorded footage i've edited them and despite you know um some of them being medium some of them ultra i'm having a hard time knowing which is which and i have to 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 scrub the footage for uh recorded uh moments where i'm in the graphics screen and uh confirming what settings they are okay so for color position do this to medium there's no difference between medium and high but there's a four to three fps difference i don't know why just move this down to medium and sleep well at night mirror quality just go this to medium because high is pretty uh tanking for your to your frame rate especially when you just uh start a new game all those three characters start from the mirror and uh, i know they made the, the worst impression ever when you just started the game and your mirror was set to high so just set it, set this to medium it's not a guarantee x 60 fps locked when this is on medium but then um i think you will be hovering in the 50s with all these settings combined but then it's not that big of a deal because you're not you know um, doing twitch reactions on the mirror right LVD just leave this so high again no performance difference now i'm on amd so no ray tracing and here's the uh cherry on top of the uh, cake static fidelity um, internal resolution slider this is what it is set this to whatever uh, your native resolution is between that and the neck setting below it so for me i'm on 4040p i want to avoid moving downwards to the 1080p territory which is when calculated using the internal resolution slider it would be 75 so this would be 1080p this would be my native resolution i want to compromise a bit just to get that extra frames that i want so i'd rather go with 85. if it's still dropping i can move to 80 and still above 1080p so that would be a tip for you now you're wondering what does this dynamic fidelity fx do this is basically a dynamic resolution and i've tried using this but there's a some some sort of downside to this and a very huge one this um, target frames per second is not actually a target it's a locked a locked target um it's not a dynamic target it's a locked one so what it does it it does uh, change your resolution dynamically in a sense that uh, it will target your minimum resolution and, and uh, adjust uh, your resolution according to these parameters to to, to uh, satisfy your target fps but then when you're on a surplus on a frame rate surplus um, the the frames per second when won't go beyond 70. so this is one of the biggest huge deal breakers for me i thought i would love this since i can go target 70 as a minimum and then have an average frame rate that just goes above that but sadly it just locks your fps to that particular number so no i'm gonna turn this off so i'm gonna set it to 75. so once again all high the basic settings don't do nothing contact shadows and facial lighting geometry you just turn this on they don't do anything to your frame rate so here's my settings one last run through before we proceed to gameplay let's remember our fps a while ago in all high settings was 40 39 41 you can see in this intensive location what it does now i'm hitting 60. look at that 61. oh and this guy's running right there 62. can move around look at that and take note guys that i'm recording 
I'm recording. Right? Look at that. When recording takes, I think, two to three FPS off of your uh, regular frame rate. Look at this guy. It's like comfort, comforting his uh, bay and uh, a night out. Hello, gentlemen. Look at the frame rate and look at uh, look at this uh, volumetric light here. It doesn't matter if we turn this down to medium. It still looks good, but there's the downside to that. Look at that. You see those shimmering lights over there? That's one of the downsides of using medium, but then going up to uh, high would uh, drastically decrease our frame rate. Right now we're at 65, right? If we go up even just one notch, the frame rate will go down to 62. Now some of you are thinking, well, it's just four frames. Well, if you're uh, involved in more action, that will be exacerbated. So now it's not, it's dropped to five frames. So I'd rather um, sacrifice a little bit, just a little bit of th that volumetric resolution. It doesn't matter, man, when you're playing this game. See, just that's a five, uh, FPS and look at the beauty of this game it's just so beautiful oh my word the fog look at that smoke the roads I love how they accentuate the lighting more of a Blade Runner uh, inspired aesthetic look at these cars the lights oh and look at this Kabayan Foods that's a uh, Filipino reference Mabuhay. As you can uh, tell, ako po ay isang Pinoy. I am a uh, Filipino. So uh, this is a very welcome reference for me. This is the first time, or maybe the second time, that I've seen uh, our country being referenced. First would be Just Cause 2. If <laughs> for those of you who didn't know, Just Cause 2 had Pinoy civilians and they literally talk Tagalog when you jump up of the car they will actually say real Tagalog lines that's it for me that's all for now if you like this video if you want to correct me if I misinterpreted or miss uh, miss said misspoke some of the uh, facts that I've uh, just spouted feel free to comment down below and like and subscribe and I will be seeing you next time on this couch same place bye bye